What's up again, YouTube? Shout out, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say shout out, but you know what I'm saying? Like I like I said, like I was saying in my last view video, forgive me, I'm I'm a little going off for this here, you know what I'm saying? But like I was saying in my last video, man, shout out to big ups to El Sticky Larry, man, like I said. I really like, you know, the the direction that his channel is going in. Like I said, I I'm a fellow supporter. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't checked out his content, go check it out. Especially if you're a Texans fan. You you're really gonna love his content. Um you know, shout out to my boy Ray Ray. If you're a Texans fan, go check out his content because he gives the raw, unedited truth, you know what I'm saying, about the Texans, and I fucks with it, you know what I'm saying. Of course, shout out to my boy, Silent Nation, a.k.a. Ed Honcho, you know what I'm saying, the real Ed Honcho, as, as he would say. Also... Uh, real quick, I need to ask my boy, uh, Ed Honcho, man. If you got any more shirts available, man, I know some people that, you know, want to support it and, you know, want to get some. So, you know what I'm saying? If you can, you know, leave a comment, in a, you know, down below. If you watch this video, bro, you know, can you let me, let me give me some info on that, you know what I'm saying? So I can, I can let them know, you know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, I mean, like I said, now that I've, you know, did my shout outs, I mean, of course, you know, shout out to my boy Reed and, you know, my boy Turner, you know, everybody that fuck with me on YouTube. So I just want to ask y'all real quick and I'm going to keep it real brief because this is Texans, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, that boy Z got suspended for six games. Now, I could have been a dick and and put this video out, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I could have made a video, you know, almost like four or five days ago. Because I, I seen this shit happening, you know what I'm saying? And also, I have a good connect, you know what I'm saying? That was like, yeah, he going to get suspended for six games. You know what I'm saying? But I want to know what y'all boys think about that real quick. Also, and this is the main topic of the video. If Deshaun Watson is gone, if he is, say he does end up playing, those t that throw that he missed where it could have been a touchdown. And again, I'm not like I said, I'm not I'm 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 not letting it go because I personally like the Carolina game it it it, it showed and proved one thing. If you have a big target on the outside or if you use them on the inside and you're you know, you, you throw a high fade. He's gonna go up and go get it. This isn't Madden, you know, where their their ratings affect their their feel on the their affect their play on the field. You know what I'm saying? In real life, I believe and I really do believe, you know, him and Ladarius Green in a one on one situation against a DB who's nine times out of ten is gonna be at least two or three inches shorter than them, you know, they're gonna go up and win those 50-50 balls. Now, why do I like and want them in Houston? Simple. When you have a player like DeAndre Hopkins, teams are gonna respect him because they know he can light you up. Sorry about that. Which leaves other guys on an island. Now, 
like I said, Jalen Strong is a guy who I'm really looking forward to. You know, I'm looking forward to him having a strong year. <laughs> I like how it went together. You know, but I, I really do though. I really look forward to him having a, a strong, a strong year. You know, unlike Fuller, he he can catch. You know what I'm saying? And I do believe, you know, with better quarterback play, he can really excel. Now, like I said, if say Savage end up starting and he starts the whole year. My plan would be for if I'm Bill O'Brien, I'm having him sit down and I'm 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 basically showing him depending on well looking at how his throwing motion and how he throws the ball, he would compare more to Russell Wilson. Well, I was about to say Russell Westbrook. <laughs> Shout out to Clyde Perry, man. Russell Westbrook. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But um now Russell Wilson, you know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I mean I would have just break it down to the T, you know, from throwing motion to, you know, footwork, you know. And that's another thing that I really want O'Brien to sharply, sharply work on with Deshaun Watson. His footwork, because if your feet are right as a quarterback, you can be deadly, super crazy accurate. Look at Joe Montana. Look at Peyton Manning, especially Peyton Manning. All of his throws, his feet were always the same. Brady, same thing. Roger, same thing. Bree, same thing. Roethlisberger, same thing. Philip Rivers, at times, same thing. You know, Matt Ryan, same thing. You know, when they they all have good mechanics, and like I said, Watson has shown he has the ability. Just like with Strong, he's shown he can catch and all that. You know, he just doesn't have Fuller's deep speed. But with better quarterback play, he could thrive. Same, like I said, with Watson, with better mechanics, this kid could, there's, the sky's the limit for this kid. But, I mean, like I said, man, what do you, what you guys think, man? Drop a comment in the comment box below. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I did this video, you know what I'm saying, because I'm really bored. I'm about probably about to go in here and play the game or some shit. I don't know, but you know what I'm saying, as for usual, like, sub, peace.